Hey guys, this is Steli after with Close.io. This morning I was on a phone call with a sales guy that just started working at a startup. It's his first time being a salesperson and has been so successful over the last couple of months that he's not going to have to start hiring more salespeople and actually become a sales leader. The guy's pretty sharp, super talented, and did all these questions, but at one point during the end of the conversation, he actually said, you know what, Steli, you know, I, I, I feel like I have some kind of a talent for this, and I think that things are going really well, but I want to study the secret science of sales. How do I, what, what can I do to learn more about sales? What books do I have to read? What places do I have to go? Tell me, tell me, how can I learn more, study more about sales, and really amp up my game to the next level? There's no real secret to studying sales other than studying sales. Here's the way that you should think about this. First and foremost, sales is a full contact sport. It's a performance-based you know, uh, uh, a job, which means that you're going to have to get into the mindset that there's no like, I'm going to study X, Y, and Z, and then I mastered sales, and that's it. I'm going to just lean back and be a master for the rest of my life. Just like there's no, I'm going to study basketball and, and read all the books and do all the training, and then I'm going to be a, mas a master at playing, playing ball and just going to be the best in the world for the rest of my life. It's not how it works. Right? You train six days, seven days a week, every single day, the entire day. You study the game mentally, physically, emotionally. And then you have one game a week or one game every few weeks, right? But you're going to be trained. If you want to be a performance athlete, if you want to be the best in the world, you're going to have to train your ass off every single day for the, your entire career. And it's the same thing with sales. If you want to be the best in sales, you're going to have to study sales every single day of your life. There's no point where you magically have arrived at mastery. And even if you do, just lean back uh, and, and get lazy for just a, a few weeks or a few months and you'll see your game dropping, your sales abilities dropping, and, and you're becoming stale and ultimately uh, you know, losing your sales pro license. So what to do to constantly study sales? Beyond just practicing it, and actually not just practicing it, but also observing it, what do I mean by that? I mean, when you do sales calls, or if you have sales meetings, or when you do sales presentations or pitches, record yourself and listen to yourself. Study yourself. You know, studying yourself is going to be the best way for you to be gain wisdom and actually really realize what works and doesn't, how you perform sales, and what your quirks are, the things, your mistakes, and the little things that make you unique in a good way, but also in a bad way. And it's going to allow you to iterate on your own game and improve on it. Just like pros watch their own games and their own performance in the video analysis, you want to do call recordings, you want to do video recordings of your pitches and study your body language, your voice, your tonality, the way they come across, uh, all the things that you do that you want to edit out and improve on. And constantly study yourself practicing and performing sales is going to be a massive well of information um, and knowledge. And you know, no better way to really gain wisdom uh, than to look inside and actually study yourself first before you go out and study others. Now, that should be a, a staple of your sales studying you know, practices from day one and the way that you coach yourself to real mastery is to constantly study yourself in your own performance. The next thing you, that you should do is really get into the love of uh, read, reading and, and the love of books and blogs. I mean, there's okay. so much material out there on Quora on blogs, books, there's so much stuff around sales. It's just unlimited amount of information and you should be consuming okay. any information coming from all different places. Uh, the guy was asking me, hey, what are all the startup sales books that I could read? Well, now I do have a book. It's called The Ultimate Startup Guide to Up on Sales. And there's gonna be a lot more books coming. Okay. Um, but, and, and there's, you know, Aaron Ross, who's a dear uh, uh, friend of mine, uh, his book, Predictable Revenue, is awesome. And there's a bunch of things that are very much focused on startups, but most of the sales books aren't. And it doesn't really fucking matter. You know, if you understand the science and psychology of selling a car, you're going to be able to learn from that in selling software or selling for your startup. You should borrow sales techniques and ideas and tactics from all different fields, not just from yours. So start reading as many books and blogs as you can. Subscribe to podcasts. Just there's a wealth of information out there and you should be consuming all of them. See, you know, typically there's certain things that you gravitate towards more, things where the kind of packaging of information is easier for you to consume. Some, some people like to listen to things. Other people like to read things. Whatever works for you, do more of that. 
and do it consistently every single day. Then you, know, you study yourself, you study kind of the, okay. the, the content that's out there, the, the videos, the audios, the books, everything that's out there. Just go to YouTube and type in sales or sales coaching or sales ideas or sales mentoring or sales tactics. You'll get millions and millions of talks, presentations and videos of people like me and others that, that really share their knowledge and you should be able to share, to pick something to learn from almost anyone. So. Once you study yourself, once you start studying the content that's out there, reading the books and listening to the, the podcast and all that, you should look for mentors, look for coaches, people that can coach you, give you feedback, people that are pros, people that have done what you need to do, that have gone where you need to go and can tell you about their journey and how to course correct your own way of getting there. Uh, look for people that are, you know, one or two steps ahead of you and that can coach you and give you advice and give you feedback and learn from. Try to build a network of coaches and, 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 and mentors and not just look for mentors and people that are you know, further away in their career to learn from, but also look for peers. Look for other people that are just in the position that you are, that just started doing sales, just started hiring the first salespeople, and try to connect with these people and build a peer network, a mastermind group, whatever you want to call it. Meet up with them once a week, once a month, have drinks, you know, go for mini golf, whatever the hell you want to do, and, and talk about your challenges, talk about your le learnings, talk about the, your wins and your losses. Share your knowledge with each other, the latest book you've read, the thing you learned, and, and, and create you know, uh, sharing of information knowledge on a peer level, which is a completely different thing. It's going to give you different insights, different information, um, different inspiration than the learnings you're going to get from mentors and coaches. And that's going to give you totally different learnings than you studying yourself or you reading and consuming content from completely complete strangers and what they've learned in sales. All these different channels will help you Amp up your sales game, you know, on the theoretical side of things as well as on the practical side. It's going to give you new ideas, new inspirations, new motivations, new things to try out, new experience to gain from. And ultimately and incrementally will improve your sales game every single day. And then the mastery of it all, start teaching others. There's no better way to learn than to teach. This is one of the reasons why I've always loved teaching others. Not just because I love sharing my information, sharing the things I'm passionate about. Not just because I love people and I love seeing them develop and grow and, and, and sharing things with them that will help them create more value in their lives and, and, and create more growth for, for their lives and their business. But because every time I teach something, it, it brings up my game a little bit higher because every time I teach something, I learn something myself. You know, there's a different kind of level of understanding it takes for you to be able to actually be able to teach something to somebody else. And you'll have to think things through. You'll have to think through all the questions, all the angles. You'll have to package your knowledge in kind of an ABC step-by-step -step way that's easily digestible and consumable to the party that you want to coach and help with. And when you do it on a one-on-one -on -one setting, you're going to have to consider the context of the conversation. Who is this person? What's their level of knowledge? What's their challenges? How do I have to actually deliver the message so they can actually take it? All that actually really sharpens your saw and makes your game a lot better. So teaching is the best way of learning. And teaching is really one of the greatest way to not just learn, but learn in a way that creates and multiplies value around the world. So look for people that not just are one step on the same level as you or one step ahead of you, look at people that are just one step behind you, people that are just starting to do what you've done six months or 12 months ago, people that need to learn and do the things that you've just done and go and share your knowledge with them, pay it forward, teach them what you know and create value, not just to them in the world, but also to yourself in becoming better at what you do. And not just look at, at, at people to teach, maybe you're able to teach what about in writing, maybe you're gonna start a blog and write your sales uh, learnings or write summaries about the books you read or the peer group reviews that you've just had share your notes there Maybe you blog maybe you do videos maybe you do some slide share presentations whatever the format is is that's more easiest to you most comfortable to you maybe you're gonna go teach people one-on-one -on -one, but maybe you also want to go and teach one to many and actually put content out there in the world yourself and make the world a better place right uh, nothing would I love to read more than a blog that states hey I just started selling it's my first week I'm gonna share all my lessons learned about sales that's fucking fascinating I I've been doing sales my entire fucking life I've been managing salespeople my entire life I've 
taught thousands of salespeople and I would subscribe to that blog and read it every single day. I'd want to learn and go back to my you know beginner days and kind of relearn a lot of things from the, that person's perspective. So there's not, not a perspective that's not compelling as long as you have a real point of view and you're willingly sharing everything you're actually learning in the world. So how do you study the science of sales? is by learning whenever you can, from whoever you can, however you can, and really becoming a lifelong learner. The best salespeople, the most amazing sales performers are lifelong learners. That's the one thing they all have in common. They've learned to love learning, and they've learned to study themselves, study other people, and constantly find new ways to actually amp up their game, come up with new ideas, being creative, and really just resharpen their saw so when they go out to actually you know, uh, get a result, it's not going to need any power and force anymore, but it's going to be all elegant. So promise me this. Promise me to start learning wherever you can from all different sources. Promise me to fall in love with learning. If you fall in love with learning and if you keep your eyes and ears and senses open to opportunities to learn, you're going to find them anywhere and you're going to become a better salesperson and study and, and master the art, of, uh, the art and science of sales every single day of your life.